to um, talk to you about Bailey. Today is going to be his last day on Earth. He actually has about 30 minutes before he crosses the Rainbow Bridge. And before that happens, I thought I would share... Oh, it makes... It hurts my heart. Um, I thought I would share his last meal with you guys. I know you've seen um, him do a lot of stuff on our channel. So, I went by Whole Foods. I'm so sad, y'all. Um, I went by Whole Foods and got his favorite meal, which is meatloaf. And I went by our local bakery, which is called La Farm Break Bakery, um, and got his favorite homemade bread. They love the homemade bread. Him and Jack have been together since they were born. Um, they came from the same breeder. We got them from um, a rescue. The parents of them had to give them up and we ended up with them they had a kid or whatever um, that was having some allergy problems so anyway we, we ended up with them they've been very great dogs they're old they're in the old age now you see Jack is drooling Ooh, gross Jack don't drool on me and um, I thought I'd talk to you today about some things that um, you probably need to know in order to own a pug. This guy has been very um, healthy for the most of his life until the end. Right now, he's um, suffering a little bit of doggy dementia. He has a collapsed trachea, and I'll tell you how he got that trachea collapse um, in just a minute. But I would like to say that um, dogs like Pugs are susceptible to trachea collapse. They can, um, the trachea is your windpipe, and basically they say that it feels like he's sucking out of a straw that has a hole in it. So, um, and he's been dealing with that for about three years now, which is um, a long time for something for an animal with trachea collapse. So, like I said, Bailey was always very healthy. You've probably seen him in our videos, travel, walk up to Mount Mitchell. He's walked Max Patch. Say I've done the whole, not the whole, but I've done quite a bit of the Appalachian Trail. I've been in the Rocky Mountains. Say I was a very healthy little dog and very athletic. And if you get a dog um, that is, that doesn't have any, upper respiratory and trachea problems lots of times they have a flap that needs to be removed in the back of their trachea but those are usually when you get young pugs you learn this out very easy very quickly these are called smush face dogs right so these are also um breeds that are include the french bulldog pekingese these are all susceptible to the same thing. Even the Boston Terriers, even though Jack's face is not quite so smush. Oh, you're drooling so bad right now. Um, let's just start giving him his um, his meatloaf. Jack, I'm going to give you some too. Say, so I got meatloaf and vegetables, which I love. See, we're vegetarians, so he doesn't get very much meat. I mean, he gets his regular meat dog food, but as for like, the last bit of a hamburger. He don't get that around here. So this is a special treat. You want some, Jack? Very supportive, buddy. You're very supportive. Okay. Can you come wipe off his slobber when you get a moment? Um, these dogs are about... I've, I've lost count, but they're somewhere between 12... They're probably about 12 years old. Which is a uh, good life expectancy for a dog this size. Um, you want a carrot? I would say that Bailey was always very healthy, but then he had a mass on his paw. It was right here on his paw. You can see. Where was it, buddy? Let me see your paw. Stop. Show the viewers your paw. He had a mass, like, right there on his paw, and we had it. We wanted to get it removed. They told us to get it removed. Oh, did you get that? Slobbery. You got slobbery. They wanted to get it. They wanted us to get it removed. They were worried that it was going to get so big 
that he didn't, that it was going to cause a problem and a big healing process when we did get it taken off, or that it was going to get ripped off. So, we took him to our local um, clinic, which is called Smithfield Road Veterinarian Hospital, and they are kind of like a stop and go, like more cheap like you know you just drive your dog off walk in type thing um but he had been there for a while that is that is where he went with the rescue that had him before we got him and um so you know he had been fine do you like carrots jack uh, i tricked him he didn't know he was getting a carrot but um we dropped him off there and when we brought him back he was honking like a goose and we just didn't understand we thought maybe he had a touch of kennel cough. And it just kept going on and going on and going on. And then we took him to another, another place. Well, actually first we took him back to the same vet and they said that he was suffering from heart failure. And they gave us a bunch of medication. We put him on the medication, it didn't help. And we were just confused. So we took him to get a second opinion and they said that he um, he had a collapsed trachea and that it was likely caused for when they put him asleep and they intubated him, they put a tube down his throat that it, um, you got on your foot, that it disrupted, that it collapsed his trachea. And that it can, this is um, a risk factor with pugs, especially older pugs, because anything that you shove down their throat can disrupt that balance that is already so precious with pugs so um we had never owned a pug and we didn't know that and nobody told us that and so we just um trusted the vet and the vet said he needed to have this thing removed off his paw so we dropped him off and they gave him back to us broken <laughs> and um he's been to a lot of vets since then we've got him on all different kinds of medication right now we have him on about four different kinds of medication um so we are living with collapsed trachea but it is finally time to let him go. Like I said, at night, he has um, real bad doggy dementia. He has sleep apnea, so sometimes he falls asleep and then wakes up freaked out because he cannot breathe. Um, so, um, that's just really something you need to know. I would say, don't take your dog to Smithville Road Animal Hospital. They are atrocious. Take your dog to a reputable vet or a, a lower cost clinic. If, if you are having your dog put to sleep, take it to a reputable, maybe expensive, but still. Um, and I would also say now learning this, I, I wouldn't have my dog put to sleep. If, if he was a smush no, nose breed, I would avoid that for most anything. Uh, my dog, Jack, right now, his teeth are a hot mess because I'm scared to have him put to sleep and um, I just don't want this from the moment he came home from this vet they had destroyed him he has never been the same and like I said but he was a very active dog before so um, you know take it from me this is definitely one of the hardest things I've had to do in the past little while and um if you have a pug try to avoid having him put to sleep for routine surgeries do not listen to doctors that may not specialize in smush care breeds um i would say though anything else pugs are great dogs he's a wonderful wonderful dog but um, the, the vet visits for him, now that he's old and in end-of-life care, have been um, every couple of months. And Jack hasn't seen a doctor in, like, 
five years. That's a Boston Terrier for you. You know, like, they're healthy dogs. Pugs, they're a little more expensive. It, it's definitely true. But the joy that they bring you in life, you know, it's definitely worth it. If you're going to get a pug, please go to a rescue. Don't go to a breeder. Uh, you can buy a rescue pug for like $300. There's pugs that special adopt a rescue pug for like $300. There's uh, rescues that specialize in pugs and Boston Terriers. The one we got was him from was um, Southern Boston Terrier Pug and Boston Terrier Rescue. I think they're now called Harley's Angels. You can Google them online. They are Harley's with two E's, Harley's Angels. Um, they will help you get a pug if you want a pug. One of these little guys, brand new, new uh, um, a puppy, about $1,000, $1,200. So there's no reason to get one that's a puppy. See, old guys need love too, right? Yes. Um, so anyway, we just want to say thank you for checking out all our videos. And we want to say goodbye. You want to say goodbye? Okay. So, um. Okay. Say goodbye. All right, y'all. I don't think he knows what's happening, but he's generally a good dog.